Welcome back to AEW Rampage. Eddie Kicks and Rocky Romero going to war for the New Japan Strong Openweight Championship. Rocky escaped the Northern Lights bomb attempt by Eddie Kicks. And Kicks and coming in. Rocky counters with a jumping knee. Eddie ran into that knee strike. He was a little bit too aggressive. And Romero was waiting. And man, he caught Eddie. Kingston got stunned. Ooh, that kick to the chest. That's all you got. I'm telling you, you got to watch with Rocky. Oh! Got quick hands. Did you see how yeah. Kingston's head drooping a little bit? Yeah. Wide open, Eddie. Yeah, Kingston got doubled over by the soul button. Now Rocky Romero. Yeah. Just, it was like a drop kick and stomp combination, but it was on target. Romero with the leg hook and Kingston. Kingston able to kick out. Getting that shoulder up. Rocky's argument, referee Bryce Rensburg feels like it was three, it was not. Ref did the right thing right there. Romero applying pressure to Eddie Kingston. Looking for the slice bread in the corner, but Eddie. Oh, Lariat follows up. Uh oh, he's opening him up. Machine gun shots. I mean, that'll affect the breathing if you're at sea level, let alone at altitude like we are. And now Kingston. I don't know. I never know what level of match. Well, Kingston and Rocky on the second rope currently. And oh wait, Rocky foot placed. Oh wow, wow. On the post. Avalanche slice bread. Rocky in the cover. No. I don't know, man. No disrespect to Rocky. That would have been a big upset. Let's be honest. That would have been. And Shibata would have loved that. It was come Sunday at Wrestle Dream. He would have had definitely you know, help because Eddie would have lost some momentum. Yeah, wind at the back of Rocky Romero. Wind at the back of Katsuyori Shibata. As Eddie Kingston struggling up to his feet. Rocky Romero, he'd be thinking the forever clotheslines. Rocky, he's competed quite a bit in Mexico City. The altitude here just outside of Denver. Likely not an issue for Asu. Car! But the Oricon is the second one to leave no doubt. And Eddie Kingston steps over. The stretch plum locked in. And Rocky Romero. The wrist is trapped and nowhere to go. And the winner of this match is still New Japan Strong Open Weight Champion, Eddie. Uh, you know Shibata was watching this. Definitely for sure. Yeah, Rocky put up a hell of a fight. What a battle. What a match it was. That stretch plum got him. A great back and forth battle tonight on Rampage as we close in to Wrestle Dream. But Taz, Eddie Kingston, so versatile, so dangerous, so many ways to win a match. He's a he heavy hitter. He's a passionate pro wrestler. And he's going to deal with a, a guy from another country in Shibata who's also a very passionate pro wrestler who's also a heavy hitter. Seattle wrestle team Shibata Kingston must see. Great show of respect here by Eddie Kingston towards Rocky Romero. Kingston now his sails full. The wind at his back. The destination is the Climate Pledge Arena, Seattle, Washington. This Sunday for Wrestle Dream, a date with destiny, a date with the wrestler, Katsuyori Shibata. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You mentioned, I guess he appears. Katsuyori Shibata, there he is, the man that will challenge. Eddie Kingston this Sunday. Shibata's Pure Championship is not on the line, but both of Kingston's are the New Japan Strong Openweight Champions of the Ring of Honor World Championship. Katsuyori Shibata has an opportunity to establish, I mean, basically a modern triple crown with a victory over Kingston at Wrestle Dream this Sunday. Great respect shown, and speaking of Wrestle Dream,